Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Akash Biology and welcome back. In this video section as I have been receiving messages on my Facebook and YouTube channel to make videos on the phylum. So I will be dealing from the basics of phylum and one of the most important basics of phylum is the word silum. So in this video we will elaborate the silum and its types. So before going on to the details of silum, we will need to know what actually is silum. So as as far as we have known about the silum, it is the potential space that is present in between the gut cavity and the outer body wall. So this is the mocked up definition that we all have been reading from the very old times. Now we will know the practical meaning or the demonstrated things. So let's say this is the gut tube, the very rough figure, this is the gut tube starting from the mouth and ending at the inner. This is our body wall, this is our body. So this body has an outer wall and this what? the posterior wall this is what anterior wall this is what posterior wall so posterior wall is mainly being attached to it but in the anterior wall what so only you're talking about anterior wall so what we can see there's enough space in between this that is the wall of the body and the cut wall and this part is known as what silum what this part is known as silum so what is the importance of silum and why the silum is being formed so silum has the importance because various important organs of our body like as the liver, spleen, kidneys and various of other parts are being, are being located in these sites. So if this site is not being formed then kidney will not be formed, liver will not be formed and spleen will not be formed because it provides an excess of area for all of these organs to accommodate and to develop in their own manner. Similarly in our normal state our tummy is what a bit narrowed. But if we have eaten, then, or if we have just voraciously eaten anything, then our tummy will expand. What? Our stomach will expand. So if this space is not present, then stomach will not what expand, and the pressure inside the stomach will be high, and we will regurgitate from the mouth. So it has very important site for <laughs> site that is providing the area for expansion. Similarly, in the silum, sometimes there is a fluid known as the silumic fluid that acts as a hydraulic skeleton in the case of what earthworms. Similarly, it allows area for the diffusion of various types of gases, nutrients, and electrolytes. So, silum has a very vast chapter, but from pro point of view, from a class 12 point of view, uh, I will be dealing from the very basics of silum. I hope you have been known about this. So, first of all, in order to know about silum, you have to go back into my videos of developmental biology where you can know the basics of development. And in the gastrulation process, there is a formation of three zone layers. The outer one known as the ectoderm, the middle one is known as the mesoderm, and the inner one is known as endoderm. So for a basics, you need to know the ectoderm will form all of the outer parts of our body. That is the hair, the nail, hair nail, they are the teeth, enamels, some of the skins, or the various sides of the body that is countering with the outside. Mesoderm will form the part of body that is what forming the connective tissue that is the blood, bones, and muscles. And endoderm this will form the what various systems our body that is present as a viscera that is the primitive gut or the respiratory system or various types of system that you need to know. So if we gonna see so the true silum is being formed by what the mesoderm simply if we this is my body if we cut my body from these sections and if we gonna see then there is what there is a gut there is simply a gut then there is what a, a, a form of muscles and again there is a form of muscles but in between these two muscles there is a gap and lastly there is an outer skin so this gap is known as what silum this gap is known as what silum where various organs are accommodated so this is the primitive gut that has an endodermal lining. Again there is a muscles but this is the muscles and again this is muscles but muscles but it between these two muscles we can see various but spaces and this space is known as silum. So silum or true silum that is present in our body is being surrounded on the both side by the mesoderm or not because muscle is a type of connective tissue and connective tissue is formed by the mesoderm. So a silum or the true silum that is present in our body is being surrounded on the both side by silum. Again, we can see from the developmental point of view of a true silum. So in the gastrulation phase, we have seen like this. This is the blastula and this is the blastocyl. 
and this is what the endoderm what endodermal lining this is the arc interon and this is the ectoderm and adjacent in between the ectoderm and the endoderm various types of mesodermal cell will be formed and apart from this what it will go invaginations now after invagination it will be formed like this this is central gut and next adjacent in the blastula there will be two coelom will be formed that is surrounded on the both side by mesoderm and the mesoderm so the blastocils and the coelums are entirely different thing blastocil is formed in the embryonic state that is providing the various types of the blastocils fluid and various presumptive state but coelom is being formed by the mesoderm so the blastocil is a primitive one because it formed in the blastula but coelom will only be formed after gastrula so if you gonna see the sequence ectoderm then what so first of all the morula then blastula blastula has a blastocil then gastrula and after gastrula the coelom will be formed because coelom is being formed by one germ layer that is the mesoderm what this is formed by the mesoderm but blastocil is formed prior to the mesoderm formation so in nepal me heryo bhane pahila ke form bhayo cha blastocil kina blastocil the blastula me formation bhayo ta coelom hona lai ke hunu paryo mesoderm hunu paryo ki pare na pare ra mesoderm banne kaile ho ta gastrulation process ma now we are going to see various types of coelom that is being present like this so coelom is a space that is providing potential space for the organs to develop so in the lower organism like in the case of porifera cilentrata and platyhelminthes where there is very scarce organs means organs are not present so they are not requiring enough modifications to form a coelom so in those organism there will be no any gap that is present in between the mesoderm or any of the things means all the germ layers will be closely packed to each other that we can see over here so this known as what a coelom meet what a coelom meet means there is absence of coelom ectoderm mesoderm endoderm this is the gut so this is what the ecto this one is meso this one is endo so what have what we can see the, all the layers are compactly being arranged to each other that is there is no presence of space and that's why this is known as what a coelom and is present in the case of porifera porifera cholentrata and this and again it is present in the case of platyhelminthes platyhelminthes now coming on to the case of pseudocoelom what pseudocoelom pseudo pseudo means false means there is no presence of coelom though it will mimic the presence of what it will mimic the presence of coelom so what we can see over here in the case of pseudocoelom we can see a gap that is present between the mesoderm and the endoderm so normally what happens after the formation during the gas gastrulation process ended the blastocil is obliterated means to half a fed ones but in some organ like in the case of nematelminthes organ or skelminthes what happens the blastocil is not obliterated what blastocil is not obliterated and those the blastocil is a gap and it will mimic the what like as the coelom so it is not a coelom it is a blastocil what it is a blastocil because in order to be a coelom it has to be surrounded on both side by the mesoderm but here we can see it is surrounded internally by the what endoderm outside by the mesoderm and in between the two there is presence of blastocil so there so the coelom has to be lined by the coelomic epithelium but here there is presence of coelomic epithelium not at all because coelomic epithelium is only being derived from the mesoderm but here as the coelom is not formed so outside it is lined by the mesoderm mesoderm mainly what longitudinal layer of muscles internally by the endodermal cells so it is a presence of what pseudocoel and it is present in the case of nematelminthes Telminthes. Now coming into the presence of trucilum that we have elaborated now first. So it is present in the case of those organs, those organisms where our evidence systems are being formed. That in the case of from Annelida. So Annelida, Arthropoda, Echinodermata, and the Chordates. Now what happens? We can see there is outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm. There is a coelom, and in the coelom in on the both side is surrounded by what? 
The ceiling on the both side is surrounded by mesoderm, and there is a god, primitive god that is surrounded by the endoderm. So this ceiling is different from this blastocele in the sense it is surrounded on the both side by mesoderm, and this ceiling has a lining of ceilomic epithelium. Ceilomic epithelium, and this ceilomic epithelium will secrete the ceilomic fluid. So if we are being asked, the ceilomic fluid is dated from what? Mesoderm. Ceilomic epithelium is dated from what? The mesoderm. This is simpler thing. Now, as the ceilom is dividing mesoderm into two parts, outer mesoderm and the inner mesoderm. So this outer one is known as that we have learned in our. This is known as what? Peritoneum. What? Peritoneum. And this inner one is known as serosa. What? Serosa. Up in a histology, serosa, muscularis, submucosa, and mucosa. So serosa. Then muscular, muscularis, submucosa, and mucosa, and the bridging part is known as mesentery. What bridging part is mesentery? So this video is all about the ceilum. Now coming on to the modes of the ceilum, interceilum formations. What interceil formations? So I will drop this. Now the interceil is being formed on by the two types. First of all, the cytoceil. Cytoceil. And there was the interocil. What interocil? So this difference interocil means it is formed by the invaginations of argenterum, but it is not being formed by the invaginations of argenterum. Here the blastopore is present. What blastopore is present? So this is the case of anelidan orthopoda. So as I have made, this is the endoderm. What the red color is endoderm. The red color is endoderm. The black color is ectoderm, and the blue color is what the mesoderm. The mesodermal cells, what mesodermal cells? If we gonna see like over here, then it will be forming like this, and it will be forming like this, and this what the ceilum, what ceilum like this. So what we can see in the both side is what mesoderm, what mesodermal cells or not? So it is forming by the splitting of mesoderm. This is a simpler thing. That is the cytosol. So cytosol means splitting of mesoderm. Mesoderm, and it is formed in the case of anelida and orthopoda. And orthopoda has a hemocil. Means the ceilum is entirely being filled by what the blood vascular systems of our body or the blood that is the hemocil and hemocil is also a type of true ceilum interocil ko pani kun part ho cytosol ko pani hemocil part ho tesari bujhnu now coming on to the interocil part and this will be like this so this is the archenteron so it is forming in the it is not interocil so if we gonna see this is what Like this, it has invaginated. So this is the archenteron. This is the what blastocil, outer ectoderm. This is the endoderm. This is the mesoderm. Now mesoderm is again forming this, but the difference is that it is being forming by the splitting of mesoderm. It is forming by the invaginations of archenteron. So this it is present in the case of echinodermata and the higher cordis. So this video is all about the echinoderms and and I request you to give feedbacks on my videos. on my youtube channels and for the subjects or the topics in which you want my next videos and i will be posting my videos regularly from now on on was because my exams are over and the one and only thing that i want to say you don't lose your hope and keep on doing your work even i am being a medical student is very hard to manage time for the videos but i am doing so for the sake of every students to grab the the opportunity of having a conceptual knowledge about biology that's why i am doing even i teach in various institutions so if i can manage time for the video then you are getting enough time for your preparations so please and please do hard work and try do not try to mug up everything try to have a conceptual knowledge so for biology if you are in class 11 or 12 then please buy either dinesh objective biology or the truman biology these are very good books for biology but if you are preparing for the entrance examinations in 3 months for the iim sessions then do not buy those books because those books are too bulky even if you are preparing for bpkhs then these books are very good for biology to in order to grab the biology concepts 
and if you feel any time demotivated then just revive the just imagine that you are wearing the white apron when in the stethoscope on a coat and the patient is just joining hands near you and telling dhanyabad dr sahab tapai ko karan mero yo bimari thik bhayo mero jaan bachyo that is the most gratification feeling that cannot be expressed in words and cannot be thought by any money so doctor is a novel profession where none of the things are optional you have to read each and everything in a compulsory manner so stay tuned and connected with akash biology thank you